Hey everybody, Matt McMurray with Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia. And I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer about a couple of Aturo videos that I put out. They reached out because they found some factual inaccuracies in both of those videos. So I posted a video up here showing what those factual inaccuracies are and what my explanation for those were. But again, this is a subjective opinion and review for entertainment purposes and not necessarily set in stone facts. So I used the best information that I could to come up with this stuff. But just a quick disclaimer, just know that they took some issue with some of the facts that I put in this video. And be sure to let me know your comments below when you see it. Hi everybody, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we have the Aturo Trailblade ATS. So inflation's hitting the country hard and the cost of everything is skyrocketing, including tires. So I wanted to look at some tires that were decent and could save you some cash for that $11 gallon of milk. The Aturo Trailblade ATS is a new tire that Aturo has designed to be an aggressive all-terrain tire. The Trailblade ATS is the second tire in Aturo's new Trailblade Sport Series. So a Turo Tire was founded in 2009 and it's owned by the Federal Corporation, which is based out of Taiwan. Most of Turo Tires are manufactured in China. Federal Corporation has been in business almost 60 years and manufacturing tires under the Federal brand, Hero brand, and now the Aturo brand. A few big retail outlets have picked up the Aturo tire line like Discount Tire, Simple Tire, American Tire Distributors, as well as Tire Buyer. They're also a huge seller for custom offsets in their wheel and tire packages. The Aturo Trailblade ATS was introduced in 2019 at the SEMA show and launched in the first quarter of 2020. The best applications for the Aturo Trailblade ATS are lifted trucks, SUVs, and Jeeps with aftermarket fitments. In fact, Aturo says the Trailblade ATS is focused on the aftermarket. The Aturo Trailblade ATS has some nice features for the price point like 3D sipes for winter traction, small raised bar and a tread groove to distort noise and help remove debris, tie bars in between the tread blocks to reduce the road noise and help with stability, a large center rib to enhance steering response and tire rigidity, four main lateral grooves to evacuate water and dig into the mud and sand, a stepped edge on the shoulder blocks to evacuate mud and slush, and a sidewall molded in the shape of a quartermaster knife. The Aturo Trailblade ATS carries a 50,000 mile limited tread wear warranty, and I've heard that Aturo is super easy to get a warranty handled. So we're looking at the tread of the Aturo Trailblade ATS. You'll notice that each tread block does have siping in it, 3D siping, but it is not full depth. So as these tread blocks wear away, your siping's gonna wear away too. This tire is not three peak snowflake rating. You look at your center rib here and you'll notice that uh, it's a, a long block that are somewhat interlocked in a way that will give you stability on the highway and stability while you're cornering. Because remember on the highway, we're only using about this much of our tread to hold us on the road. So we have these tracks and grooves in between each tread block. We're looking at it and it's a little more aggressive than a normal all-terrain tire, giving you a little bit more traction. There are biting edges, not a whole lot of biting edges, but there are. These tread blocks here have connector blocks in between them and the outer tread blocks have connector blocks in between them. And that's just going to make it more stable and reduce the squirming around that the tread blocks will do uh, when you're cornering or at high speeds. In between the tread blocks, there are these grooves here. They say these grooves are act as stone ejectors, but also uh, reduce noise. I don't know if that would be true or not, but they're there nonetheless. Each one of these blocks on the outer rib are stepped down. They say that that will help evacuate mud and stones, but we'll see. I think what happens is it wears down. This block just gets slightly bigger when it wears down and that will give it more tread life because this is a 50,000 mile tread wear warranty tire. So overall, it's a pretty good looking tire. It's definitely an AT tire. It's definitely on the more aggressive side. It's definitely probably more noisy than your name brand tires. But again, we're looking at tires in a segment uh, that, that is in a, in a value segment where you get kind of good looks, but you also get a good value and lower cost to bust that inflation. So you can see these sidewall blocks are shaped like a quartermaster knife is what Aturo said. I tried to look up quartermaster knives. There are lots of them for sale on the internet, but the website itself for quartermaster knives doesn't exist. And there are rumors that that, that, that company's out of business. I'm not sure 
because I don't know much about knives, but, but this is the exact shape of that model knife. And each one of the Arturo tires has a shape of a different quartermaster knife. So you can see that when you air down, this is gonna give you more traction in biting edges and, and sand and then deep snow and deep mud. And also it'll uh, prevent you from getting the sidewall pinched that will deflect any debris and, and keep the tire from getting cut on the sidewall. We also see this continuous rib here. I would say this is used to reduce noise or it may just be a molding line. I don't know, depends on the manufacturer, but I would say it's probably uh, created for, to reduce noise. We do have a rim protector here. Uh, this tire was manufactured in the 46th week of 2020. And it was also, let's see, this tire was also made in Taiwan. You can see that the way this tire is designed, you can see the Turo name and Trailblade name here, raised black letters, but not too, not too big. But the tire looks a little bit shorter because of the rim protector and these outer tread blocks. You also see the high and low spot on the tire. It's odd that this tire, most of the time these two dots are exactly right across from each other, but on this tire they're not. Um, so you either line up the, the dot with the valve stem or 180 degrees from the valve stem, depending on uh, what the manufacturer says. But I've also heard that a Turo tires have been tough to balance. And a few years ago, they had a lot of warranty claims for balance and, and ride issues. But I've heard that they've straightened all that out. The Aturo Trailblade ATS is available in 17 sizes, ranging from 17 to 24 inches. The size of this tire is a 265-6018, and it retails for $167.99. You can pick these up at tirebuyer.com or the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. On the scale of try it, watch it, or trash it, I give it a try it if you're in the market for an inflation-busting, aggressive, all-terrain tire that you need to do a lot of different things with. The bottom line is I think this is a great tire and should be on your list to consider trying to save you money and beat back inflation. So if you have any questions or you'd like to see me review a particular tire, drop them in the comments section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. To see more Turo tire reviews and comparisons like this one, check out these videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.